this video we're going to look at how to convert recurring decimals to fractions. So let's start off with 0.4 recurring. So that could be 0.444 dot 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 or 0.4 with a little dot above it. So these are both 0.4 recurring. Let's look and see how to change this into a fraction. So first thing, let x equal the recurring decimal you've been given. So 0.444 da 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 da. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to get another um, equation so that I can take the two away from each other and the recurring bits will cancel out. So if I was to times this by 10, okay, 10 times x is 10x and 10 times 0.4 recurring would be 4.4 recurring, so 4.4 da 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 da. Okay, now if I was to subtract the top equation from the bottom equation, so if I was to take x away from 10x, I get 9x. But most importantly, if I was to take 0.4 recurring away from 4.4 recurring, the 4, no, the 0.444, the 0.4 will disappear, so you'd just be left with 4. Okay? And then finally, divide by 9, so you'd get x equals 4 over 9. So 0.4 recurring is equal to 4 ninths. Let's look at another one. Okay, so now let's have a look at how to convert 0.818181 forever, or 0.81 with dots above both of them, that shows that the 81 recur, uh, into a fraction. So first thing again, let x equal the decimal. So 0.818181 and so on. Now, we want to be able to take away two equations that have both the 818181 after the decimal point. That way they will cancel out and become zero. So I want to be able to move this decimal place to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times it by 100. So 100x would equal, times it by 100, move the decimal place twice, so it would become 81.8181 and so on. Now, if I was to take the x equals 0 0.818181 away from this, I'm going to get 99x equals, the bits after the decimal point will cancel out, because if you have 818181 and you take away 818181 and so on, you would get they would become zero, so you're just going to be left with 81. And then divide by 99, so you get x equals 81 over 99. Then cancel this down, okay, so you can see both of these numbers will be divisible by 3. So let's divide both of them by 3, so 81 divided by 3. Well, actually, sorry, both are divisible by 9. So 9 into 81 goes 9 times, 9 into, 11, or 9 into 99 goes 11 times, so it's 9 elevenths. Make sure that you try and cancel down your fraction, um, just sort of to give it as simple as possible form. Okay, but 0 0.818181 recurring is equal to 9 elevenths, or 81 over 99. Okay, so we're going to look at how to convert 0 0.125, 125, 125, so on, as a fraction. So let x equal the decimal you've been given, so 0 0.125, 125, 125, so on. Now, we want another number that's got 125, 125, 125 after the decimal point. So if you were to times this by 1,000, you would move the decimal point to here. So you would get 125.125.125.125. The most important thing is that the bit after the decimal point has to be exactly the same as the other equation. So then whenever you take them away, they cancel out. So let's times by 1,000. So 1,000x equals times by 1,000 would give you 125.125125, so on. Now, if we take these away from each other, you're going to get 999x. The 125 take away 0 would leave you with 125. And then the bits after the decimal point, you've got 125, 125, subtract 125, 125, that will become 0. Then divide, so you get x equals 125 over 999. And then it might be worthwhile to check and see if you can cancel that down. Um, but that's how you'd write it as a fraction. Okay, so you let x equal. This time, because it's got 3, uh, it's got 125, 125, you need times about 1,000. And then take them away and divide. Okay, in this video, we're now going to look at a recurring decimal, but it's slightly different than the other ones. It's 0.2585858. Notice the 2 doesn't recur, it's just the 58 uh, five that is recurring. And we'd write it as 0.258 with the dot over the 5 and the 8 to show that that's the recurring chain. Now, to change this into a fraction, let x equal what they give you, 0.2585, so on. 
Now, whenever you want to change a recurring decimal to a fraction, you want to make sure that the two numbers, or the two equations that you get, have just the recurring part, part after the decimal point. So here we've got 0 0.2, now the 2 doesn't recur. So we can times this by 10 or 100 and so on, that would still keep the 2 in this position. So we're going to have to times it by 10 first of all. Times it by 10 first of all, call it 10x, would give you 2.5858, so on. Notice that the recurring part is now after the decimal point. So we've got one of the equations with 585858. Now we want to get another equation with 585858. Now go back up to the original equation, x equals this. Now we've times it by 10. Now we instead of times it by 10, we're going to times it this time by 1,000. The reason is it would go 1, 2, 3, and then you would get the 585858 five, after the decimal point again. Okay, so if we do 1000x, you would get 258.5858, so on. Notice we've got two equations with 585858 five, after the decimal point. So therefore, we can now subtract 10x from a 1000x. So that would leave you with 990x equals, and when you take this away from this, the recurring point, the bit after the decimal points will cancel out. So you take the 2 away from 258, and you would get 256. Now divide by 990, so you get x equals 256 over 990. Now just simplify it, okay, so you're just going to cancel that down, and whenever you cancel it down, you would get... You could divide them by 2, and if you half them both, you would get 128 over 495. So 0.2585858 and so on is 128 uh, 495ths. Okay, in our final example, we're going to convert 0.7125125125 or 0.7125 with the dot above the 1 and the 5 uh, into a fraction. So again, let x equal 0.7125125 and so on. Now again, you want to get uh, two equations with just a decimal point and then the recurring bit. Okay, now the recurring bit is 1251251255. So let's start off with 10x. 10x would give you 10x would give you uh, 7.125125 and so on. Okay, so we've got one equation with 1251251225. Now, if we go back up to the top equation again, uh, we want to move the decimal point. We've moved it to here. Now we're going to want to move it to 1, 2, hold up, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you move it to here, you would have the decimal point and then the 1251251225 again. Okay, so you'd have another equa equation with just the uh, recurring bit after the decimal point. So we wanted to move the decimal place four times, so we're going to times by 10,000. So 10,000 x equals 7,125.125125 and so on. Now notice that if we subtract these, the, the, the recurring bit after the decimal point will cancel out. So you'll be left with, if we take 10 away from 10,000, we get 9,990 x equals, uh, the recurring bits cancel out, so 7 from 7,125 would be 7,118, and then divide, so you get x equals 7,118 over 9,990, and then cancel that down, so see if you can cancel it down, and if you cancel it down, you would get, you can just half it, so you would get 3,559 over 4,995.